Hi, hello, welcome to another episode of Isaiah's Newsstand. It's your host, Isaiah Edwards. The date is September the 26th, 2024. Hopefully this episode finds you well in good spirits and high hopes. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good myself. Actually, surprise, surprise, I have a guest. Jimbo's back. Hello, yeah, thank yes. you. Yes, guess who's back? It's Jimbo, bitch. Mm, I'm melting in the chair and listening to you speak right now. Thank you. It's just the heat. It's just the heat. It's the lack of AC. Man. <laughs> but how are you doing, brother? How good. are you? I'm good. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm doing good. Yeah, you have, you've having a good week? Yeah, yeah, good. no complaints. Good. No Happy complaints, to hear it. So, yeah, good. how about you, man? You know, this... This shit has kind of been kicking my ass a little bit, you know. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Okay. You know, uh, I've been broke as shit, unfortunately, you know. Right. Hard times. Right. But we're making it through. You know, I had a, you know, it's still my birthday week, you know, birthday month. Yeah. You know, still Virgo power. That's that's good. But, you know, uh, it's solid. I got a good workout in today, so that was nice. Good. You know, good. Felt Clears good. the mind. Yes. It's nice to just, like, literally just kind of walk it out, run it out, you know, pump it out, whatever. It's It's been nice to kind of have that for sure. Good. Uh, let's see here. What kind of waltz into the food corner here? Anything good lately? I uh, went to. Uh, I don't want to give away too much. I don't that's know. Nice you know, yeah, so you don't have to. You went know, to. We, a, we can gatekeep here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. No, to, to, a, to a local steakhouse. Ooh. And, um, fancy man. And you know, in a town over by me, that was it. Was really good. It was the first time going. It wasn't the uh, what you would expect as far as a steakhouse goes. Yeah. It was a different one. And it was, but it was you know not the. But it was good. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, took, now, the, took the wife for her birthday. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. Okay, all right. Happy birthday. Yeah. Now, let me ask you, how do you like your steaks? I'm a medium rare. Medium rare. That, I like, that's, I that need is some the, pink. I think that's the correct answer. That is what a chef wants. That is what the average person wants. Yeah. I think that is correct. I think that is the way to go. Um, I'm not going to lie, though. I, I'm a type of person that I want to just, me as a kid, me as a teen, send that shit to the devil. I want it charred. Man. I want it, I, yes, I know it's bad, but like I wanted it well done. I'm trying I to get a like, hockey puck. Man. I, 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 yes, I yeah. am. I'm trying to chew on that bitch. Okay. But I realized that that's not what the chef wants. It drags the whole line. No one likes it. And like they think they're ruining the food. And I I get that. I can understand that. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. I, I'm not the type of person where it's like, I'm the customer. I'm always right. Like, no, like I can cook it myself if I want to do it that way. You know what I mean? So when I'm out now, I try to get a medium. You know what I mean? I think a medium is fair. I think a medium is yeah. fair. I think a medium is fair. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't need you to shoot the moon, brother. Just cook it right down the middle. You know what I mean? That's all I'm asking. A nice fastball. Yeah. Easy peasy. With some fries, please. You know, that's me. My steak's begging for life a little bit. That's okay. Yeah. So, but, but you're not a blue guy. I think that's I think that's a no, show. No, definitely shit. not. I think, yeah. Oh, I want it really bloody. Like, no, what, no, are, no, what no. are we doing no. here? Why? Why do no. that? You don't need to do that. But, you know, uh, you know do what you want. You know, <laughs> listeners, if you like it blue... That's you. Amen to that. You're wrong. But that's okay. <laughs> the, the, the tribe has spoken. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a startup, and we'll get into some news. Uh, Please. You're, you're catching me on a weekday. So, like, normally I like to have this shit a little bracketed, a little bit more light. But, like, breaking news happened, and I literally had to hit you up the next day. I was like... We gotta change the story. Oh, I know. I love it. So. I love it. It keeps me on my toes. <laughs> we gotta so. put you in the spin room a little bit, brother. We gotta, gotta catch <laughs> you up on some things happening. But yeah, let's go ahead and do our startup, and we'll get into it. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, let me cue it up. So I caught one of the shit. Last night, fucking the fucking New York Post, New York Post, they were they said, hey, New York Mayor, you know, Eric Adams is go- isn't getting indicted, and I was like, holy fuck, and I was like, wait, I wonder what the charges are gonna be, right? But I know I've told the audience like we've already talked about Eric Adams <coughs> um, getting entangled with like Turkish, like you know. I don't want to say, I guess the word I want to use is ambassadors, probably not the right word to use it, but essentially like go between some people who are trying to lobby and influence him. And it was looking like he was taking some money. And then also there has been a slew of people who have been interviewed, their phones have been taken, they've been involved in investigative probes, up to literally the, com- the police commissioner or whatever who had to resign. You know, for the greater good, he said. Right. But he had a twin who was, like, running nightclubs and shit, and they were, like, doing shakedowns, essentially. Right. So there's a whole lot of corruption, 
Eric Surprise, Adams. Surprise, shocking. I mean, right, right. Uh, <laughs> America's mayor, corrupt. Um, yeah. Wow. I, I remember. I remember old documentaries of Giuliani. I remember that. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Watching this shit and how he like took down fucking crime. Yeah, when remember, he was a lawyer. Remember yeah, yeah. Rico? And it's like, brother, now all Rico is used to is fucking try to lock up young thug. Like, yeah. That's all we're yeah. using this shit for these days, brother. And fucking Rudy Giuliani is sweating out in front of some fucking vacant thing for Donald Trump until he can't get any money. Like, this man can't even sell a cameo right now. So no. that, that's a former America's mayor. So I, I love that Eric Adams has just fit the mold to a T. You know, I shouldn't be surprised that a former cop is just going to do some fucking... Dumbass fucking yeah, shit. You know abs- what I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> um, he immediately got into crypto, and like I was like, oh yeah, bets are off, dude. Let's yeah, fucking go. Rab, dude. He's in there, dude. He's he's gonna be he's gonna be hip deep in the dirt. Uh, but Good night, FTX money, dude. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, let's let's dig in a little bit. At least do a little bit of reading here. Um, luckily, the Daily News kind of kept it short and sweet for me. I'm sure there's gonna be more details, so we'll definitely hit the story again. But uh, Mayor Adams was charged with bribery, wire fraud. I don't know why I couldn't say that. And secretly soliciting campaign contributions from overseas donors. I like that. Donors. This is a donation, yeah. Jimbo. Um, in a sweeping indictment unsealed Thursday, stemming from a wide-ranging federal probe in corruption at City Hall. The stunning indictment alleges that the mayor accepted more than $100,000 uh, in lavish trips, cruises, and hotel stays all paid by Turkish government officials and businessmen who thought Adam's uh, rising political power or career would like do more. But there's there's more for the article mm. or whatever, but we're more or less going to leave it there. Trying to get it on the ground floor. Exactly. You know? there, and I think this happened when he was even like Brooklyn president. This okay. is where it kind of started. Right. He started incurring the favor, if you will. But I've heard even stories, like I was just kind of perusing the internet, where literally it was him, a mysterious Twitch streamer, and he's getting paid in Zen pouches, skids. Like, skids of Zins. Yeah, you told me this, and, and this I, blew I, my it mind. It the mind, doesn't yeah. it? I'm like, is chat, is this real? Like, I, I don't know. Right. So, I mean, this if this is just a taste of what we're going to get in this trial, I'm, I'm rock hard. I'm so excited. Like, I knew this shit was going to be big. I just... I didn't it's gonna think be like Depp and this would be Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, Amber Heard big. Dude. I mean, bigger. I think this is a mayor. This be. is a mayor. Yeah. I, I don't think it's gonna be a sensational. That child just was like poop in the bed, and everyone just went woo, 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 right. Woo, 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 woo. right. <laughs> All bets were off after <laughs> this. This is a lot more tame by that's, comparison. No, you're, you're but for wrong. for a political nerd like myself, I'm I'm into this dude because this guy has been talking a big game, and like he even like came out before the even like this shit was unsealed. He's like, I've done nothing wrong. You know, everything's in good. I literally hear more details about when the FBI came to him at, like in the middle of his little speech and they're like hey you gotta come and talk to us he in that process changes his password and then goes I don't even remember my password this is crazy yeah. sorry you wanna look at my phone I got a couple of phones but I can't I can't unlock them sorry oopsies Oops. yeah brother brother oh, come on dude yeah, uh, he's he's a king of New York. I love him. I yeah. love him. And this might be the rise and fall of Eric Adams, and I get to cover that. And that yeah, was, that was, he's sick. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, I got some. The rest of these are more or less back to terraforma. You know, for our guest episode, we're gonna talk a little animals, a little animal okay. stories. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? A little yeah. science stuff, a little light stuff. Just just a spy whale dying in the ocean or some shit. You know, yeah, light yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff, you know? Nothing crazy. Free Willy, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah. It's our Free Willy. It's the That's... new Free Willy. It's the Gen Z <laughs> Free Willy. <laughs> Maybe it's a Russian spy. Who who can say? Is it Mudang or what's the... Oh, my God. I wish Mudang was a spy, dude. Oh, my God. Mudang, it's a spy. As man. a Cincinnatian, we need Mudang to be a spy. I so... really realized that. I was like... Yeah, that pygmy's going to take all our shine. Absolutely. I, I, I'm sorry. i got to say it. I, if no one's going to say it, this podcaster will. Mudang might need to be eliminated. Yeah, you know, we need... Either as an op or an adversary. Yeah. I don't say it. I don't talk on this very often, but i got to keep it real. That adorable motherfucker covered in corn and carrots. What can Fiona... Fiona can't beat that. No. Never. No. Mudang, no. Just, just know it's, it's on fucking It's on site. site. It's on, it's on site, site. Mudang. We had to say it. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to this Russian spy whale from Reuters. Death of Russian spy whale... Held, I hate this. Haldimir, they like did some blending with uh-huh. a little, little little name. We'll get into that. Um, Haldimir, not caused by humans, say Norway police. Now, this was important. I kind of had to dig for this one. Um, also, shout out to last podcast because they were, that's why I first heard this on a side okay. story where they were like, hey, just so you know, this wasn't some spy shit. It literally got 
a stick lodged in its head. Like that's how this the spoiler alert. That's right. how this this whale winds right. up dying. But people were alleging that like was it shot in the back of the head? Like oh my god! Like you're making tabloid news about it and then not doing the update. Right. So it's like that's a very important update that like this whole intrigue thing ends with nature just being nature, not Vladimir putting a hit out on a whale that he sent out way back when or some dumb shit. So, wanted to kind of preface this before we dig further. But a beluga whale discovered with a harness strapped around its neck in Norwegian waters five years ago and found dead on August 31st had a stick stuck in its mouth and its death was not related to human activity, police said on Monday. The body of Haldemir, a a combination of the Norwegian word for whale and the first name of Russian President Vladimir Putin, was spotted a week ago floating in the sea by a father and son fishing in southern Norway. Damn, he was swimming with the fishes. Yeah, he was. Damn, dude. Belly up. You hate to see it. Um, but like I said, I, I kind of already spoiled it. Like I said, you know, nature called. And, and sadly, it, it was is. a brutal fucking reckoning for this mm-hmm. whale. You know? They said, dude, oh my god, I literally just realized this. He went out like fucking Trotsky went out, bro. The fucking ice pick, bro. Oh, he did. But it was nature, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, Stalin from beyond the grave did that shit, bro. That's the real culprit. If you really want it, once again, I'm cracking the case on this podcast. Jimbo and you I did it. Did you it, witnessed dude. it. Okay? You just witnessed. It was the ghost of Stalin. That's what did it. <laughs> okay? Done. Wrapped it up. Case closed, dude. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to add? No, you know, no, I, I, no. I know I'm just saying crazy <laughs> no. shit here, but I feel like I'm in the kitchen cooking. No, I'm, 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 I'm here, man. <laughs> you know, I will add that this this whale was a little playful whale. Like it was very cute. Like yeah. it, 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 it seemed like it might have even had problems communicating and interacting with other whales and trying to like be with other pods because it was so. Not domesticated, that's the wrong word, but just surround around yeah, humans too much. Okay. Either prior, before it came in, or just after. You know, it would just go to humans and interact with humans. And then sadly, it just kind of got done up like a geek on the street. Right. So, you know, once again, I kind of like my Stalin theory a little better. No. But, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, we, we got to hop it from Russia or, you know, whatever to China. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Panda Dog <laughs> from CNN. Panda dogs. Chinese zoo goes viral for luring visitors with painted pups. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, if, if, if I was just scrolling real quick, real fast. That's a baby panda, that's man. That's a little panda. You know? It looks rough, but it's in yeah, a zoo. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I'm it's not going to It's a zoo in China. It. It's a, yeah. You know, <laughs> shit. I've seen, a, I've seen a polar bear in a Cincinnati zoo. That, yeah. that looks not real. <laughs> but that's it is true. real. It's very real. That's what happens when you put a fucking polar bear in a place where it's not supposed to be. So, like, I'm just like, whatever. But then it's like, hey, that's not, that's a, that's a, that's a dog. And it's like, damn. Damn, dude. Like, that, that's so crazy. And then everyone has this thought. I, I've listened to other podcasters talk about the story. It's like, this is China. This is supposed to be the place where you guys have the pandas. That's the only fucking it's spot that hasn't left. Like, you guys right. literally have panda diplomacy. I've covered that shit before. Right. So it's like, maybe they're stretched thin as well. And they're like, hey, we've outsourced our guys. We, we have. I mean, it's true. They're all, they're all over the world. I you mean, know? And it's kind of like, look, we just dude. don't have them at home. And we're going to make do. Cowboys make two. Hawk two. You know what I mean? Hawk and they're two. just like, get this dog out there. But like when you, I think once you, it's not even the biggest dog you could no, have, man. Like they, that's, uh, and, and it's, it's a fluffy chow chow. Um, yeah, and they were painted. A panda and, was made in China, bro. And, like, like, and people were going off online, like, oh, this is this is toxic to the dogs, and blah 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 blah. That's not my issue. It's just like it's just weird to lure people here on the premise of like, hey, we have pandas, and you don't. It's a dog. Like that just seems like. What I would expect to happen in China Zoo, though, I guess. Like, I, I, you, you, you hear like I've heard they have like whole ass apple shops that just are there apple stores in China that don't actually sell apple products and things like that. Like this, I don't know. I mean, you can get function anywhere though. That's you true. can get that's that in true. the states. That's so true. that's not really my thing. But my thing is like it's one of those sad things where it's like we live in a society. I hate to say, it, even in communist China, yeah. where it's like it's more about making that buck. It's that's, always about that yeah. dollar. And they're like, look, dude, it makes more. Fiscal sense to us to have this fake panda dog and just 
just bullshit it for at least yeah. a week or two, just to even get people to come out for the before spectacle. Before you get in, before I get to the news. Mean? Yeah. Just to do that, then to say, hey, no panda, sorry. You could just close the enclosure. Yeah. But once again, I do think, yet again, this is one of my things where it's like, no. even even the big bear in China is still just trying to do things that's, like us. No, that's you know, rough. We're, all, that's rough. <laughs> we're all in the market and it's all a fucking struggle, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean, dude? And it's like, that's a bummer for the people who are trying to see some fucking pandas. I was yeah. only watching some zoo footage the other day. And children weeping. Like. But yeah, imagine. They're just like, that's a dog. That's a dog. Right. And it's like, do you buy, like, if you're a parent, yeah. do you go, nah, 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 it's, it's just tired. That's totally a baby panda. <laughs> it's just a little bit panda. Young, young child, yeah. You're five. You won't just eat, yeah. your, eat your lunch, little guy. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> You will not remember this. <laughs> just, just load up on that prime and just knock out, man. Mm. Just, just fucking white out, dude. So, you know, I, we're not really, we're just kind of riffing here. There's, there's more to it. You can obviously read the story. It went viral on TikTok and kind of went going. I know. How my, long were they there, though? Um, did, does it say? I think it did go on for like about a week or so because they, they tried to like say like, oh no, they really are like that, that, they're, yeah. they're really pandas, and they're like, okay, but then they they let up like they let up. Yeah. They said no. So shy, you know. We'll yeah. take them off. So You're you know right. what I mean. I was like, damn, we could just get that in like a Florida zoo. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, they're, once again, they're yeah. just like us. And I was like, damn, that's so unfortunate because you don't have to be, I feel. But, you know, whatever. Um, like I said, you can read the details, but I kind of just wanted to mention that. You know, little little fun, fuzzy little news. Uh, but where are the pandas? Maybe that's the next conspiracy. That's, where are the pandas? When's the last time you saw a panda, man? Where's, yeah, dude, you let's know? get to the real diplomacy. Where, yeah. where are they? Where are they? Um, all right, we have one more story. So that means we're going to take our last break, and then we'll go ahead and close it out. No bullshit. None. None detected. Ooh. Spider Man. Having a little diplomacy of ourselves right mm-hmm. now. Ooh. A little bit of a UN here. It's about to start talking like Joe Biden. No, that's that's RFK Junior, my bad. <coughs> Sherrod Brown. Bro. <laughs> Bernie Sanders at home. <laughs> yeah, right. That's private selection uh, Bernie Sanders, dude. Stop. Like. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We have fun on the pod. Um, all right. Ooh-wee. Round them up. This is from the Associated Press. Eight bulls escape a Massachusetts rodeo and charge through a mall parking lot. So I purposefully didn't look at this at all because okay. I'm, I want to go into this blind because right, this right. just the headline alone. I was like, I'm ready for this. So. Okay, all right, let's 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 <laughs> di- let's let's dive in. Uh, this is noble. First responders in a Massachusetts city had to exercise some impromptu roundup skills when eight bulls escaped from a rodeo being held in a parking lot of a uh, mall on Sunday. Video posted online captured the moment when the bulls escaped uh the from the rodeo in north alboro the uh the animals charged through the crowded parking lot knocked down fencing bumped against a tent and rumbled towards busy u.s highway one they eventually (laughs) headed uh for some nearby woods for short-lived freedom no one was hurt during the breakout so i mean that's that's awesome that all that took place you had a mini stampede in massachusetts (laughs) and no one got hurt like that's crazy. That's some bull in a china shop shit. Right. Uh, community members should exercise extreme cautions and not approach any bulls, the agency said. So that's, yeah. That's, I also love that they, ha- they add in this uh, North Attleboro Fire Department warning that the, the rodeo bulls weren't playing around. Like, yeah, dude, they're <laughs> bulls, dude. Yeah, they're they're bulls on the loose, dude. <laughs> bulls on parade. Yeah. Like, you heard that right now, dude. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, no, they're, yeah. They're raging against the machine, of Man. course, dude. Um, they, they're still investigating how the bulls got out. But you know, I don't. Who knows? If, if I if I wind up hearing that, you know, I'll, I'll let yeah. you know. But crazy shit, you know, animal happenings. So yeah. there was that. Uh, but yeah, that that really is it. That's all I really got for the news today, bud. It's a good Thursday, man. Yeah, man. It's nice chill. and chill. You know, a little vibe is there. You know, sure. anything else you want to like close out on? Anything? You know? No, man. Just peace and love. Hell yeah, dude. You know, happiness, Gosh. prosperity. Fuck yeah. Financial dude. freedom. Yeah. Everyone get out of debt. Hopefully, brother. Hopefully. Get out of debt, man. Dig your shit out. I, I've got my shit out of debt, and then I'm digging myself back into debt. It fucking Damn. sucks, bro. It's a cycle, man. I, and you know what really sucks? I, we're closing out here. I know I'm being a negative ass. And I've said this before on the pod. I hate, I hate that, like, 
debt is so baked in where like you literally have like the richest fuck Elon Musk he has to have a high level of debt to offset how he lives like essentially he hops from big loans to big loans sometimes sure, sure. he's waiting for these big stock things to come through so that he can, sure like, that's all invisible money that's plotted yeah. for or against you all, and i every, think that's just so crazy every asset he has is based off of the but look how much tesla i have yeah, like that's yeah. all he has to say and it's he gets as much so, money as he feels wants. so ephemeral not real yeah. to me it but is yes, it's, that it's is, just a full la, 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 la. that's, that's all it is man. Is my goddamn bank account and mm-hmm. it's just like oh, i hate it here i just hate it and it's like hey but i just is what it is you know it's not like i can go to some place and escape it yeah <laughs> you know shit man i can't even space walk away from it yeah. you know what i mean it just is what <laughs> it is no that's that's the moral of my story man yeah, your in, your income is your single number one most important tool sadly it's it is you know, it is the, don't give it to other people so i mean i try not to brother same, you know what i mean same. unless i like you you know what yeah. i mean and yeah. just like i'm just like i'm about to shill now unless you like me you guys give me a little bit of your income a little bit for the cause i gotta shill a little bit please here, please you know? shout it out dude uh patreon.com slash isaiah news if you'd like to support the effort become a newsie today uh it's more or less a tip jar but you know you do get a shout out at the top of the month i say your name if you'd like or you can be a silent donator you know what i mean you could give me the eric adams experience if okay you, will. you okay. know what i yeah, mean yeah, yeah. you shoot me a little money you can throw me some zins maybe okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. we'll get the we'll get the p.o box I coming up keep soon, on the so. low and i'm a I'm, I'm a nobody i'm schlep there's no way there's you wouldn't detect it no one would care <laughs> you know you know you can bribe me you can influence me as much as you want <laughs> just think about it you know so that's on the table uh three ways to hit me up isaiah news one at gmail.com that's that's so fun if you want to get real sleepless in seattle with me send mm. me a little email yeah. you know the real cc's um you know there's there's x you know we mentioned it you can hit me up there facebook i'm on there yeah. um you know uh youtube hit that subscribe button Bloop, hit that uh leave a like on the episode leave a cool comment don't be weird don't be cringe yeah, don't be weird Go but on. you know i guess if you want i'll see it cool but you know th- there's that um if you're listening on spotify all the stars you know rate all that all that cool stuff uh sharing is caring can be fun but uh that's the episode uh hopefully i see you soon for some more good news i love you bye